The day of the Lord is at hand. That day of judgment on the wickedness of mankind. Paul wrote about that day of the Lord in Second Thessalonians chapter 2. But he warned that the son of perdition first has to be revealed. Now, dear friends, the son of perdition is revealed. And I want you to go with me to Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. Paul writes, he says, Let no one in any way deceive you, for it will not come unless the apostasy comes first, and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the son of destruction. Now I'm talking about that son of destruction. Now as the body of Christ has many members, the son of destruction also has many members, dear friend. Verse 4, he says, Who opposes and exalts himself above every so-called God or object of worship, so that he takes his seat in the temple of God, displaying himself as being God. Do you not remember that while I was still with you, I was telling you these things? And now you know what restrains him now, so that in his time he may be revealed. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains will do so until he is taken out of the way. And then that lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord will slay with the breath of his mouth and bring to an end by the appearance of his coming. That is, the one who is coming is in accord with the activity of Satan, with all powers and signs and false wonders, and with all the deception of wickedness for those who perish because they did not receive the love of the truth so as to be saved. And for this reason God will send upon them a deluding influence so that they may all may be judged who did not believe the truth but took pleasure in wickedness. Dear friends, the son of perdition is sitting on the pulpit of your church, of your local church. The son of perdition has made his place. He is sitting in the place of God and he has made himself to be greater than God because he is worshipped and not Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Now, you will ask me about verse 6. He says, And you know what restrains him now, so that in his time he may be revealed. Now, dear friends, what restrained the son of perdition to be revealed were those saints who were part of the church, who were still in the church. But they have left the church because they have found no place in that church. Those who truly want to obey Jesus Christ and live in holiness have been pushed out. That is the salt. The salt was the preservative in this abominable apostasy church that you see today. They have all gone. The churches are all sinners. The preachers preach and say we are all sinners. They are all sinners. And they are revealed now as the sons of perdition. Because if you sin, my friend, you are a son of hell. No man who follows Jesus Christ walks in sin. A man who follows Christ walks in holiness. And these people have been exposed now. They are the sons of perdition. And the reason why God will judge them is exactly as he says here in verse 11. He says, for this reason God will send upon them a deluding influence that they might believe what is false in order that they all may be judged who did not believe the truth but took pleasure in wickedness. Dear friends, these apostate churches preach prosperity and people love it because they, they want to live in sin and they want the things of this world. They don't love God. They want to prosper in this world at any price. And God has delivered them to that deception. God has also given these preachers the power of the lie. You have these people who are running around and they are preaching and, and uh, gold dust is falling. And uh, there are signs and wonders. 
Why is that? It is because people wanted signs and wonders and God gave them signs and wonders. But they didn't want the truth. They didn't want righteousness. They did not want holiness. They did not want the Lord Jesus, our King and our Master. They rejected Him. And they went after the sons of perdition who are sitting in the pulpits. Dear friends, the judgment of God is coming on the sons of perdition whom God will slay with the breath of His mouth. The day of the Lord is upon us and our Lord is revealing the sons of God, those who truly follow Him, those who have gone out from these apostate churches who follow Satan. The sons of perdition are those people destined for hell because they don't follow Jesus. They use the scripture, they use anything. They use the name of Christ, but they are far away from Christ because they are sons of hell. Dear friend, it's a time to seek God with all your, all your heart and find mercy. It is a terrible day. It is a day of the judgment of the Lord is coming on this earth. Because the salt is removed. Those who truly seek Jesus have been removed from these apostate uh, organizations. And they will be revealed as the sons of God. With the power of God operating through them. Because Jesus truly lives in them. May Jesus bless you.